just a little bit of an update to my grandmother. So my grandmother's in a rehabilitation clinic. She was released, she was transferred from the hospital to the rehabilitation clinic and uh, she's doing well. She She's undergoing physiotherapy and occupational therapy. She's got a routine. What happened was she had a thrombolic stroke, if, if that if I understand it correctly, the uh, blood supply to her cerebellum blocked and or severely reduced at least. And she ultimately suffered some damage to the cerebellum, which has left her with uh, difficulties when it comes to balance. And consequently, she uh, is nauseated when she tries to stand up, move around and, and orient and balance herself. So this is tricky. When you compare her condition to what might uh, have been otherwise, if she'd had a stroke that affected either of the hemispheres of her brain, I'm very, very thankful. I still have my safta, my grandmother, in that her speech is unaffected. She's mentally alert. Um, she's not paralyzed in any way. Yes, she's tired. Yes, she has these problems of dizziness and and nausea, uh, sort of a severe kind of uh, vertigo, uh, at least for the time being. But from the reading I've done and from what I've been told, there is plenty of reason to be optimistic that she can make at least some kind of recovery and some kind of return to normal life with hopefully minimal assistance from, from a carer. My grandmother's always been uh, really fit uh, and independent, and uh, she's always taken great pride in not having to rely on, on other people to take care of her. So it's it's hard, but uh, she's also uh, very patient and, and has always tried to make the most of things, which are, are things that I uh, admire in her. So I go to visit her uh, once a day. I spend about three to four hours with her. We talk. Uh, I read uh, poetry to her. We, we love uh, Tennyson and Byron, most of all. We've been reading poetry from... Uh, from all of the English greats, and of course uh, some, some stories as well, mostly Bosman and, and my own stuff, which is a lot of fun. And uh, it's, it's really good quality time. I mean, it's, it's sad that uh, it was brought about by my grandmother having a stroke, but at the same time, I'm, I'm quite thankful that it happened uh, under such circumstances and at such a time that it was possible for me to pack up and, and come out to Israel and, um, and spend this time with her. I've learned, I've learned a lot about my family uh, from, from spending time with her and spending time with my grandfather and talking to my aunt and uh, talking to, to other people. And I think, I think this will stand me a good stead. It's, it's really given me a lot of insight into a lot of the forces that shaped my mother's childhood and uh, which to a considerable extent have had uh, a follow-on effect both both for good and for bad in my own life. And how shall I say, it's given me pause for thought. Come what may, I, I certainly will not regret uh, having come out here. I do miss Melbourne. I miss all of you guys a lot. And um, I'm looking forward to getting back at, at some point. I can't, I'm not sure exactly when I'll return to Melbourne. There's a lot of stuff for me to do before I leave. So officially, I'm going to return on the 1st of April. There's a possibility I'll stay out, stay longer, but we'll see how we go.